kind of challenges, I guess, is, is the three four front going to pose to you guys on Friday night? Well, they're very athletic. You know, they know how to avoid blocks and do a good job of block, uh, block destruction. So we got to do a good job of being in balance. They're going to move a bunch, twist a bunch. They've showcased it all. So we just got to be ready to be able to play on our feet, play with balance, and have our discipline. Um, Louisville has struggled against the run, so how much do you guys look to, you know, establish a run early and kind of keep their deep, their offense on the sidelines? I think struggle is a tough word going into two games. I mean, historically, they've done a great job against the run. You know, Coach Brown does a good job of playing the run, getting those hats down there, and they tackle well. You know, I think they got a couple of new guys, you know, and, and with the limitation of practice sometimes, you know, tackling, but they look, they've, they've improved greatly from game one to two, so I expect them to get that problem fixed really against us pretty quickly. When you went back and looked at the LSU game, what did you like about what the offense did for you guys and what did they leave out there on the field that they can uh, Yeah, of course, everything is critical. You know, the emotion comes from a woman who lost, but the reality is the reality. We still got stuff to clean up whether you win or lose, and we had a bunch. So it's just more of the mentality to come back to work the correct mistakes. You know, you got to get better and, and keep strength. So you're playing the best ball as the season go along. So that's the goal, just to get the, correct, get the corrections and play your best ball as we progress through the season and become a more experienced group. But what I did like was the fight. You know, I, I've been I've been on that sideline a couple of times and seen those eyes not look the way they need to look in those kind of games. And I thought, you know, the, the, the eyes looked like they needed to look for us to go out there and keep swinging. So, you know, if we, we went into overtime, you know, same deal. Like, I thought our guys were locked in and ready to do whatever we had to do. What is the area where you think the offense can take the biggest step forward? Finishing in the red zone. You know, you know, winning the short yardage, finish in the red zone. That's something, you know, we got to do a good job of getting touchdowns. So we focus on that a lot, and we got to put a lot of pride into it. You know, we got to, we got to finish. You played so, um, five offensive linemen. How big was that to, you know, get five people out there and, you know, get them the entire game? Yeah, you know, we played with five, which, 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 which was a treat, you know, but we also got to be ready to play with however many we need to play with. You know, that's, that's a, if, I, if, I, if I had it that way, it'd be a lot easier, but I got to be prepared to go. Whatever challenges come, I got to be ready. You didn't think uh, Maurice would make it back for the LSU game. I guess how hard did you see him work to make it back to that game, and how did he kind of what what kind of difference did he make? Man, Mo, you ain't got to worry about Mo. You know, if he can, he will. So he's been like that since he's been here. He's fought through a lot. He was starting last year with the Notre Dame game. You know, he played a half. That was all he could give. You know, so you know, since I've been around Mo, he's one of the tough jokers. You know, a little engine that could. So he's been rolling. How have you seen How have you seen Jordan's confidence grow, and how does that show up on, on the field? I mean, it's just being comfort, man. He's been in the same offense for three years, you know. So, and, and now it becomes not a offense, but his offense. And it's built to fit him, you know. And he's done a great job of showcasing his ability, which we all knew he had. So, you saw the confidence come in the offseason with the staff talking about Jordan. I'm just glad he gets to showcase himself. Beyond the athletic ability, when you got to work with him more closely, like what, what, what things impress you about him? Well, just his poise and under one, getting those guys to play harder and overachieve themselves. So, you know, I, 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 I liken him to a Steve Nash type of guy. He can raise the guys, play around him, you know, and he does it in a positive way. You rarely see him go at a guy, but he also gets those guys to play above him with the relationship and the encouragement and positivity that he used so those guys play hard for him. When, when that confidence that you talked about, you guys thought obviously in the offseason and in practice, but when that translates over to games and it leads to success on the field, mm -hmm. what does that do for you in developing the offense and giving more opportunities for Jordan to let him Expanding. Yeah, I mean, it, it's all about just correction to keep going forward, you know, no matter the result. You know, the, the result is real. I mean, that's what we based our measurements stick on. But just the process alone and what we see on tape, just attacking that and keep developing everything that we're doing. You know, Coach Novell does a good job of making sure we stay on that track and mentality. So, you know, we had the bye week. I don't even, you know, this is the first time I've probably been asked about that game in the last two weeks. I mean, because those guys, I mean, it's been yesterday's practice, and then it's going to be today's practice. And that's all it's focused on is correcting the things from today's practice. Well, LSU, it seemed like LSU threw a lot at you guys. Yeah, I mean, that's normal. I mean, defense now has become, you know, movement to as, you know, kind of all, you know, it's just a normal deal. You know, everybody's doing it. They're kind of a new way. Nobody's really just lined up and kind of playing anymore. It's more like you're getting the run to us. You're getting the, the high alert third down packages. That's just kind of what football is now. What does Jazz give you guys at, at right tackle? Mm -hmm. How does it just have the versatility? Like, just experience. You know, he played guard in the first game. Then he played tackle for us that game. That's, that's, that's usually not what I ideally want for the guy that's just coming to the program. I'd rather keep him in one spot. But with his experience, and uh, I'll give Jazz a shout out. I mean, he played, you know, Juco. Played in South Carolina, he's here, and in each place he's been able to kind of showcase himself. But I'm challenging him is can it be consistent? Because he's always shown flashes, but now can he put it together for the whole time and, and keep
keep that mental focus. So that book is yet to be written. We'll see. Even though, even though you guys didn't have a lot of success running the ball with the backs against LSU, mm -hmm. that kind of be a positive fact that you're still have sustained drives and move the ball. Yeah, I mean, you know, we always want to establish a run. It's our then You know, we got three good backs, and we came in and watched the tape and saw why that was the case. And the things we can control, we need to do a better job of. But it'd be because, you know, I tell, there's plays when every old lineman can block a person and everybody gets a plus, but we didn't get any yards. At the end of the day, we got to make holes. So just because you're on the right person, you have to be able to move that other person. So that's a challenge going into it is, okay, we're on the right people, now what? You know, who are you after we make contact? Y'all only allowed like one sack through, through two games. For a group that's been maligned for a while, it's had struggles, has kind of filled back up, what can that do for the confidence of those guys? Yeah, sacks are so, you know, the easiest thing to point to is the O-line. You know, hey, man, they, 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 at the end of the year, when they do the sacks, they don't go back and watch the tape and say what was what. So we love that because that comes with the position. But the reality of it is the totality of the group did a great job. Quarterback making reads, O-line straight on blocks, running back seeing protection, receivers getting open. You know, all those things encompass and sack. So I think as the overall, as you're seeing the improvement in the entire offense, of course, that's going to get better because everything else is, is included in that also. Are good? Thanks, Thanks Alex. Alex. Thank you. Thank you.